To get started with this tutorial, you'll first want to make sure that you have a portrait image of you, your friends, or someone you know. So to get started, I will just add in any G3 character. I will change my view to that of the character's face so I can have a clear view of what I'm doing later on. Now let's select the head tab and then select load image. Then browse through your computer and find the image that you want and open it. This will open up the face fitting wizard inside of iClone 4. The face fitting wizard is broken into steps. The first step is to adjust the image itself, such as alignment. We can turn the image however we like. We can also adjust the color settings. You can either do this manually or use the smart color to automatically adjust colors. Let's go ahead and use Smart Color now. Then an important step is to crop our image so that the texture will map only the image of the face for us. Okay, let's move on to the next step. In this step, we need to create the border around the face. To do so, we can choose a few different options. If the face we are using is more masculine or feminine in nature, we can choose male or female. But for our current image, it appears to be more neutral, so let's just choose neutral. Next we want to make the face to fit the model, so let's drag the face border to be a little larger than the actual image, so the image will fit more precisely. This can take a long process, and a lot of adjustments will be required. What I do is look at the 3D head on the left, and try to match the image's eyes to closely match with the model's mesh on where the eyes are. Then we can preview the 3D head to monitor our progress. In this step, we want to adjust for the orientation and the face angle, but as you can see, the face is pretty much in the correct spot for this image, so let's go to the next step. This is the fun part. In this step, we can accurately adjust the points around the facial features. We don't want to make too large of adjustments here, just enough to properly encompass the facial features. To do this, I normally zoom in really close and like to start with the eyes. So just grab the points and place them in the correct spots around the face. But notice I have mirror on, which when I adjust points on the right eye will cause the points on the left eye to adjust as well. In most cases this is helpful, but for this particular image I want to turn it off so I can adjust the points more independently. Next is the nose. Let's place this point right at the tip of the nose and the others around the nose. Now let's work with the mouth and place the points at the corner of the mouth and the other points to follow the lines of the mouth. And we are finished. Just save the face and then our 3D head will be loaded. Now that we have a head, let's not stop there. Let's add in some hair. So go to Actor, Hair, and then choose a hair template. There are many hair templates to choose from, but I'm just going to choose this one right here. Usually when you first add in hair, it might be ghastly. But not to worry, you can adjust the scale sizes or the position of the hair to fit your 3D head you've created. I will adjust the Z position of the hair so that it will match properly. Then if I wish, I can change the parameters of the hair to make it a different color. Next let's go back to the top and choose head again, then go to the eye settings. And we can choose some eyes. Again we should adjust the settings so the eyes match with the 3D head, so I'll adjust the scale make them a little larger, then make the eyes more narrow. I 
can also adjust the brightness in the other color settings for the iris or the whites of the eyes. I will make the whites not so bright. So first turn on mirror so both eyes will be affected by the color alteration. Next we can even play with the texture channels for each eye. Currently I have the left eye selected and if I double click on the glow channel I can add in a glow texture and make my character's left eye glow. We can do the same for the right eye. Just select the eye, open the glow channel, add in a texture, and now the character's eye glows. Well, let's remove the glow channels and then let's take a look at teeth. To add in teeth, just click on the mouth tab. Notice there are many available templates for teeth, including scary monster teeth as well as regular human teeth. We can also do some alterations to the tongue by changing the colors. You can do the same with throat. The last thing I want to show you is a brief introduction to facial deformation. Here you can manually change the shape of your face by selecting parts of the face and changing those parts. So click on the face tab. Let me just angle the camera so we can get a clearer look at what changes we are making to the character's face. Notice there are a few icons for different parts of the face. If we click any of those icons, notice the control below will change in reference to that icon. So if I choose mouth, I can then use the slider bar to change the shape of the mouth. I can do the same with nose, make the nose more hook-like, or do other modifications to it. As you can see, there are many facial features to play with, and each facial feature has many, many different tools that you can use to change the shape of the face. So feel free to play around with these controls to recreate the person in your 2D image for your 3D head. If you have the profile image of your real life character, you can use that image to help create better alignment for the image and texture for the ears and the blending. Simply click on the edit side button. Here you can edit the blend position of your face using the existing image, or you can import another image to use. To import another image is similar to what you have done with face fitting in the beginning. First open up the image, then make some color balance changes. Then shape and orientation. followed by the detail fitting, so we can arrange the ears better as well as the blend lines. I don't recommend using profile images for precision facial features. I will leave that to the facial features that you can enhance on your modify panel. However, if you wish, you can change the position, say make the nose into a hook nose. Another tip, when you change the hair position, you can save that offset, so that anytime you add in any other hair, that hair will automatically save that offset to the character. To do so, just go to Hair Offset, find on the Faces tab under the head. Here change the offset. Then when you load in a new hairstyle, that offset will be saved for every hair. To learn more about facial features, see the tutorial for advanced facial features.